Well, hey, friends. Uh, it's good to see you. It's been a while since I've done the uh, snapshot uh, this way, so I'm going to go ahead and apologize for the lack of uh, theatrics and, and other things that go uh, into our snapshot. The truth is, uh, somehow this week got away. I don't know if you've ever had weeks like that. We've had softball games, dental appointments, car breakdowns, uh, and just uh, other things along those ways. And so I thought, well, I just need to just need to do a snapshot uh, this way so we can at least keep um, the tradition alive. But not only that, you know, sometimes with all the theatrics, uh, we might miss out on what the actual announcement is. And so I want to just uh, just make sure that we're all we all know what's going on. There's a lot of things happening at our church. Uh, we just had our charge conference, and it was great to be able just to to stop for a moment and celebrate uh, some of the things that we've done this past year and uh, look forward to this upcoming year. Uh, speaking of uh, uh, theatricals, those announcements, uh, those kind of things, I just want to say, give a shout out to uh, Pastor Phyllis and her ministry team with the Amigos. Just had an amazing, wonderful uh, talent show uh, last night. Um, I think uh, there are probably close to 75, 90 folks there. Well over $400 was raised uh, for their mission trip, or for the mission outreach uh, to India. And uh, just a whole lot of fun, and uh, I had hoped to be there. It wasn't. Uh, it was not. I was not there because uh, I had been passed over for my talent. Um, uh, we actually were tied up with a, a softball game. Both Anaya and Janaya uh, had game had a game yesterday, which they did win, and uh, so we just were not able to to swing all the things that were going on with that. But just a, a great. Great, uh, great job to Pastor Phyllis and her team uh, for that uh, that outreach. I also want to let you know. Um, so we we still are doing Financial Peace uh, University. We had a, a misfire uh, on our in person uh, Wednesday. So if you were uh, contemplating on the fence about joining us, you can join us this Wednesday at six o'clock. We're going to meet in my office right now. That gives you an idea. It's kind of a small group, but just I just want to help you understand that. Um, you don't have to come to the in person uh, if if you've got if you've got a busy schedule and uh, financial peace is really something you want to to have uh, access to. Um, I do want to encourage you to sign up for that because the the all the all the resources are available um, to you. And uh, if you're listening uh, to the news or the radio, you know that interest rates. Are about to go up, and if you're carrying any kind of credit card debt, uh, you, you, you're you're going to be in for a bit of a shock uh, as the interest rates and things like that go up. Uh, I can tell you this week, um, I, I'm grateful. You know, I've used you know I've I've used Financial Peace. I've used Larry Burkett's uh, Crown Ministry resources. Jackie and I have been, um, you know, a single income family. Um, for almost 18 years. Now, I'm getting a little nervous, uh, to be honest with you, is, is uh, get ready to put kids, you know, put Matthew into college and things like that. But just this past week, uh, you know, Jackie took uh, the vehicle in for an oil change, and that oil change turned into, you know, probably about a $1,500 uh, dollar, $1, bill, uh, and then um, came home from a run uh, the other day, and, and Jackie said, uh, you know, I need to tell you, I've got to go to the dentist today. And, uh, and of course, I was thinking, why are you telling me this in the morning? But the truth is, anytime you're about to tell me uh, anything with finances, there's never a good time to actually tell me that. Uh, but that was another, you know, $700. And, you know, three weeks earlier or whatever, uh, we, had a, we had a thing with Farah. You know, and my point in all that is if I had not... If we as a family had not been intentional and consistent in how we, you know, uh, budget and operate, um, I would have had to put those kind of expenses on a credit card. And, uh, you know, if you've got a credit card at 9% or 7% and you're not able to make, you know how quickly that can snowball. And uh, fortunately, we have an emergency fund. We've done the baby, some of the baby steps that that's outlined in fan financial peace. And so I just want... You know, I, I don't know how to stress anymore. Um, it really is beneficial uh, for you to take uh, advantage of that. We're talking $30. It gives you a year access to all of the resources. I mean, if you're thinking about, do I need to, need to buy life insurance or not? There's there's a course in there. How do I take care of um, 
my kids getting ready for college, things along those lines. What do I do about medical bills? All that kind of information uh, is part of uh, this. And um, if you need a scholarship for that, please let me know. Uh, and uh, and we will we'll make that available as well. But I would really love for you to take advantage uh, of this resource. Okay, I have beat that drum uh, enough, and uh, we'll move on uh, from there. I want to let you know of a couple of things that are happening this Sunday. Uh, the youth group are gathering. They're doing Messy Youth, uh, which sounds just like it. Uh, I mean, it's, it's going to be just like it sounds. It's supposed to be messy, uh, but it should be a time of great fun and laughter, group building, and so I want to encourage you to bring, uh, bring your youth. Uh, help us as we are trying to relaunch um, our youth ministry. And uh, we know that a lot of our, our families that have participated in the backpack events in the past couple of years uh, also received the snapshot. And want you to know we would love for you to come back and join us uh, on Sunday evening. Uh, youth starts at 4 o'clock. Uh, Dinner is provided. It's a great time. And uh, so please, please come and uh, join our youth this Sunday. Uh, if you come, make sure you're wearing clothes that you're willing to get messy in, so because it'll be a whole lot of fun. Uh, but I also want to let you know in October, uh, October 22nd, uh, we are partnering with uh, Family of Promise. Now, you guys uh, know a Family of Promise. You used to do host a family uh, during the week, and uh, they've kind of have shifted their... Um, the ways in which they uh, engage the community, but that we are still partnering with them. And uh, this time we're going to partner and have a, a family fall festival on October 22nd uh, from 5 to 7 p.m. And so we're going to have bounce houses set up. It sounds like we might have uh, a petting zoo, uh, uh, different activities for the kids. Um, uh, we're also going to do trunk or treat. And uh, so uh, hamburgers and hot dogs, that kind of thing. But this will be a great opportunity for us to partner uh, with Family of Promise and Family of Promise to uh, get to know uh, the, our neighborhood as well. And uh, so we're just looking for that to be a big event. We're going to need you to consider um, donations for Trunk or Treat, your cars. Now, you get your car back. We just need your trunk. Um, and, and so we can uh, distribute candy. And uh, think of this as our backpack event, but in the fall. And uh, we're, we're hoping to have, you know, another three, 400 families that come out on the campus, uh, interact with us, and just have a great time. So that'll be October uh, 22nd from 5 to 7. Uh, also want to let you know uh, that um, I will be finishing up this, uh, this sermon series, uh, Broken People Make Beautiful ba uh, Masterpieces. And uh, uh, as I wrap up the sermon, you'll hear about this uh, tomorrow, uh, but I'm going to be inviting you to participate uh, in a course a 12-week course called uh, Discovering God's View of You. And in that, in that course, I'm going to introduce you to a spiritual formation resource called the Enneagram. And uh, really, if you remember, I talked about the idea of having our head and our heart uh, uh, speaking to each other. And that when, we, when our head and our hearts are aligned, uh, then we have the ability to hear uh, God's words of truth and grace. Right, and uh, when we have, when we hear God's words of truth and grace, and we're aligned in heaven or in uh, head and heart, uh, then we are able to, uh, with confidence, uh, be able to guard our heart. Remember, our heart is the the wellspring of life, and we're able to do that from a place of health. And when we're able to guard our heart uh, from a place of health, then we're able to finish well because we will know that we are making decisions, adult decisions, um, in a God-honoring way. And so uh, there'll be a card in your bulletin uh, on the Sunday. If you're joining with us online, you just put in there, or just send me an email, Pastor Tim May at umcpb.org, um, and uh, that will register you for the course. And uh, this, this course does cost, it'll cost $15. That covers the assessment uh, that you're going to take. And then we'll spend t uh, 12 weeks just working through uh, that assessment, learning what that, what that means and how, do, how does that apply to spiritual formation. Uh, and that course will start on a Tuesday evening, um, and uh, that will be a Zoom course. I'll be doing that through a webinar. 
Uh, so uh, it won't be like this where uh, where it was camera. It'll be uh, I'll be I'll be uh, teaching uh, through a webinar, uh, and the reason for that is just so I can kind of record that and possibly use it, reuse that, repurpose that again. So again, that starts oct excuse me starts October fourth, uh, and uh, you'll need to register to be a part of that so I can send you the code. Uh, for the assessment and then send uh, the Zoom information for that as well. And then one last piece, uh, uh, actually two pieces I want to share with you uh, on, on November 22nd. So we've got October 22nd and then November 22nd. Uh, we are sponsoring an event called Rise Against Hunger. And uh, we are doing that to help you prepare for Thanksgiving. Uh, so that'll be the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. And uh, what we're going to do is pack about uh, 21,000 meals um, to go to Ukraine and other places uh, that could use uh, a meal. You'll be a surprise. We'll be able to pack about uh, 21,000 meals um, in about two hours, provided uh, we have at least 100 volunteers uh, that come on the campus. There will be more information about that coming uh, but I wanted you to go ahead and mark your calendar. This is how we're going to celebrate Thanksgiving this year, uh, is do this Rise Against Hunger event. Uh, we'll probably plan to have dinner on the grounds and then a devotional worship uh, worship time. Uh, and then uh, we as uh, families will go and, and celebrate Thanksgiving that week. But this will be our event uh, to prepare us uh, to have a spirit of gratitude as we serve others um, this year. And then finally, um, I know you're watching the weather just as I am. You're seeing the lines uh, in the stores and the, and the gas stations, which obviously means that uh, we are preparing for the possibility of a tropical storm or hurricane. Uh, but we also know uh, that there have been folks who have been devastated uh, just recently you know, with Hurricane Fiona. Um, and, uh, and so uh, once again, our relief effort uh, really gets funneled into an organization called United Methodist Committee on Relief. And so I just want to encourage you, uh, as you think about those who've been impacted by the fires, uh, hurricanes, uh, you know, natural disasters of uh, tornadoes, um, this would be a great time if you've got some uh, uh, discretionary funding uh, that you can use uh, to give to UMCOR. And in uh, today's um, uh, email when I send this out as an email, uh, there will be a link in there that you can go directly to the Faith Life Giving page and uh, you can make an offering to UMCOR and we will send that uh, in, in, in honor of, of, your, of your gift. Uh, if, if you don't use that way, you can always um, give at the church. If you write a check, just put UMCOR on there and we'll know how to uh, facilitate those funds. Hey, I just want you to, to once again uh, know it is my honor and privilege uh, to serve as your pastor. I am grateful uh, to be beginning this third year with you and uh, look forward to uh, what we have in store. I just And also, just know uh, you have a great church. Um, you have a church that uh, is committed uh, to making a difference uh, in this community, and I am just so honored uh, that I get to uh, uh, join you in the ride, and uh, I look forward to the things that you've got planned for in the future. Uh, until then, until tomorrow, uh, have a great day, and uh, just know that you are very close in my heart and thoughts. And uh, may you live today uh, with the knowledge that you truly are God's blessed sons and daughters. And uh, may you be a blessing to each other and to those that you encounter today. Take care.